everybody, this is Sarah from Serenity. How are you? I have a special treat for you today and I'm so excited. Sylvia from Elemental Healing is going to be with us today. She's gonna to be talking about the Tucson Gym Show in 2020, her experience there, her favorite crystals, and a few do's and don'ts about the show as well as why she selects the crystals that she does and how she manages to keep up with all of them. So we're gonna learn a little bit, see some really cool pictures of crystals, and also get to know Sylvia. So hi Sylvia, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your crystal haul and your experience with us. Hi Sarah, thank you so much for the invite. Sure, sure. Thank you for being here. Well, I'm excited. So yeah, we were at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, which actually is not a show. It's comprised of about 40 or 50 separate shows, but they're all being held in the Tucson area. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. Awesome. Yeah, I was trying to remember the last time I was there. Um, I think it was probably close to 10 years ago. And I'm pretty sure it's grown since then. And it was big then. Yeah, I can imagine. And I've only attended the last three years. So, so yeah, I bet it has grown. So here's what I've learned so far. The mm -hmm. actual show that I attend, like I said, is called the Tucson, officially, it's the Tucson Gem Mineral and Fossils Showcase. And that's the one that's comprised of the 40 or 50 separate shows. Wow. Um, it really all started in 1955 with the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. And that was actually held in one of the local elementary schools. Oh, wow. So that is what gave birth over the last 65 years to, you know, the fossil showcase that, you know, when people say the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, that's generally what they're talking about. Although the Gem and Mineral Show proper is, it, it's a show that's held at the convention center and it's really mineral specimens, you know, museum quality mm -hmm. minerals, things that you know, nobody could really afford. They're just, you know, one of a kind of gifts of nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I say I'm going to the mineral show and most other people who are into the gems and minerals there, you know, not that they don't attend that because people love to go see, you know, those once in a lifetime mm -hmm. opportunities to see pieces like that. You know, generally they're talking about all the other shows that are dotted all around Tucson. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the largest gem show on the planet, right? Yeah, it is the largest international show. So there are vendors from all over the world then, yeah? All over the world. And they literally are coming in on semi-loads after semi-loads. And there's, you know, there's a couple of weeks of just setting up mm -hmm. tents and that to, to be ready to unload all the pallets and pallets of, of crystals and minerals that are coming in from all over the world. And that means the, the prices are pretty competitive too, right? I mean, right. I know you have a website, Elemental Healing Shop. Do you do yeah. most of your shopping at that show or? Most of it, I would say probably 85% of it is at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the, I do try to bump it up later on in the year. I do go to Denver. There's another big show, Gem and Mineral show there. Um, big in comparison to, you know, like the local shows they would have around here, um, but generally a fraction of the size that. But right. yes, they, this is going to be the, the best prices you're going to get. And not only that, the opportunity to buy things. I mean, you know, you're getting things directly from the miners from Brazil, you mm. know, mm -hmm. getting things from Madagascar, you know, it, it just literally the opportunity to shop the world there. And that's awesome too, because that gives you the opportunity to support the local mines, to support the actual people doing it. And it doesn't go through three or four different middlemen. And then the price doesn't get tacked up each time too. Right. Um, and I figured, I figured you were doing that because your prices are really good on your, on your site too, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you. I try to pass on all my good deals to, you know, whoever gets called to my gems and minerals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how early do you have to book a room for this event? Because it is the biggest in the, on the planet. I would assume that this isn't, this isn't just a weekend, let's go check it out kind of thing, is it? No, we, you know, if we're booking in August, we're kind of late. 
you know, okay. we, we really try to lock in our dates. And so I have to know exactly the days I want to be there. And mm -hmm. it, that's, that's sort of been a little bit of a, of a learning experience too. deciding, do I want to be there at the end of the show? Do I want to be there at the beginning? You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Right, right. I know a lot of folks that schedule their vacation just to attend the show. So tell me, tell me about this one. Were there a lot of amazing crystals there? I mean, what, what did you every see? Year. <laughs> yeah, every single year there is always, there is always something that no one's ever seen before, something new that they've unearthed. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And yeah, you just are almost overwhelmed, you know, by the beauty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, what started you off on this gemstone experience? Well, you know, I've always, I've always loved gems and minerals since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, when my kids grew up, went to college, my husband and I were empty nesters. I actually had time to think about what my interests were. And I kind of went back to that. And as I'm looking at gems and minerals, I saw that there was this other metaphysical side, which was something totally foreign to me. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about that. Mm. So I'm looking at them and I'm seeing that there are, you know, healing properties and um, that really intrigued me. So the more I looked into that, the more I thought I really want to be a part of this. I want to incorporate this into my life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I started sharing that a little bit with my husband and telling him the, you know, the Mecca of it all is in Tucson, which is six hours, a, a six hour drive for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, said, well, let's go. And so, awesome. there, yeah, so that's, so, that's what got me there the first year. Uh -huh. And so my first year I spent just sort of trying to build up my collection, things that I was thinking would be important in my life. And the funny thing is the first year, it was all really high vibrational uh, crystals or minerals or really grounding ones. You know, once I, my husband helped me make a spreadsheet because he's an engineer and that's just how he approaches life. So, so yeah, he helped me make that and I could, I just, you know, it just jumped out cool once we were looking at it. So I know this is kind of like trying to pick a favorite child, <laughs> but yeah. uh, what, are, what are your favorite stones? Right now, if I, I could narrow it down to two, I couldn't, I don't think I could do one. Fair enough. And it would be my Lemurian quartz crystals from Minas Gerais, mm -hmm. Brazil, mm -hmm. and probably black tourmaline from, you know, my, my favorite piece that I have is um, a really high quality piece from China. So uh -huh. a Chinese black tourmaline and my Minas Gerais Lemurian crystals. Awesome. And these are up on the screen right now. So you can, you can see, and uh, maybe we'll have Sylvia come back and talk to us about Lemurian crystals, because there's a lot of really yeah, cool information sure. about them, but there's also a lot of misinformation about them online too. So would you maybe come back and talk to us about that? Absolutely. I would love to. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so in 2019, our second trip, we had a little more knowledge on what to expect. I knew there were vendors I wanted to go back and see. So uh, what I learned in 2019 was the vendors pretty much stay in the same places, at the same shows, in the same locations. Oh, cool. And that makes it easier for me and easier for everybody who shops there because you just, uh, you're able to find the people you've built a relationship with mm -hmm. um, as far as crystals. And we did that. And we also knew the shows we wanted to focus on because I'm there for a limited amount of time and I'm trying to maximize, maximize my shopping. Mm -hmm. And um, 2019, the other interesting thing was I was building up my personal healing collection the first show tucson show that i went to and preparing for the second one in 2019 i had received my reiki one attunement mm -hmm. i was enrolled in a uh, crystal healing class mm -hmm. um, because i i just really knew that that's what i wanted to do with this it wasn't just for me i also 
also wanted to be a crystal energy practitioner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it made sense to, you know, I had my Reiki one under my belt and then I signed up serendipitously. <laughs> I found you and you were in my, my same hometown and I was able to sign up for your um, Reiki to attunement clinic mm -hmm. for the intensive. Mm -hmm. And so after, after that, it really sort of crystal healing was all always my primary modality that I wanted to practice. And then after after my Reiki 2 attunement, I knew it was sort of flip-flopped. It was the crystals were an adjunct to me for my Reiki healing. So, so that was new, but I, I noticed, you know, because I went, the, the show was in January. I had the Reiki clinic was in July, I believe. Mm -hmm. So after my attunement, my relationship with my crystals was totally, totally different. Reiki's amazing, isn't it? It is. So it did the gems feel different then after the Reiki 2 when you went back to the gemstone show? Yes, you just you have a different connection. You know, mm -hmm. even though the 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 shopping at times is is, you know, cuz it's not just vendors from all over the world. This are also shoppers from all right. over the world. So there's a lot of people so the the shopping is fast and furious. So mm -hmm. Just what it did for me is I got really decisive on what I wanted. I wanted to bring back, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and I can only attribute that to, you know, being connected to the energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it also made a d big difference with my, with the clients I was seeing, you know, okay. after my Reiki to attunement, their experiences were more intense. Like my one, my one client, you know, her, her quote was, wow, it was really trippy this time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And so that, that was, that was interesting. And just another validation for me, mm -hmm. I put things in the right order, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. it all fell into, it all fell into place. Mm -hmm. Reiki can really change things up in ways that we don't expect. I think so too. I think you did everything in the right order, the way it's supposed to be, just intuitively. How you narrow it down though, when you're surrounded by so many crystals and so many one-of-a-kind deals, how, how do you do it? How do you narrow it down? It's not easy, but... Do you, do you drive a van out there <laughs> or a pickup or... Yeah. I, luckily, most of the pieces I bring back are, are smaller. So, mm. and the vendors pack things really, really well. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm able just to load up the trunk of my car, but I'm not going to lie. My husband and I share one small carry on. We don't take anything extra. <laughs> you know, right. uh -huh. we don't take a lot of clothes. We take just the bare minimum, and the rest of the trunk of my car is for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, even the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, by what I'm really called to, I don't think I bring home anything that I wouldn't want to keep in my house forever. Right. Um, right. And the other thing is I stop shopping when my money is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can certainly agree with that because this is once a year. So it's not something where you could go to it. Oh, we'll go this weekend and we'll go next month. No, it's once a year, it is international, and it is huge. And also, good point, you bringing up that there are people from all over the world there too. So something that's there on, on one day may not be there the next day as well. Exactly. And I, that's why I've really learned to trust my intuition. If it's calling me, I get it then. Mm -hmm. um, there's a very few things, and, I, and this is, I guess, bringing us into 2020, you know, this year's shop, shopping trip. Mm -hmm. um, if it called to me, I got it. I'm not hemming and hawing because, and, and I know most people who shop crystals have done this. Your biggest regret is not getting something. Nobody right. ever buys something and says, dang, I wish I hadn't got that. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that never happens. It's always the one piece you hemmed and hawed at and you went back and then it's gone. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't do that anymore. I trust my intuition. If it calls me, it's coming home with me. 
Mm -hmm. What was the most jaw-dropping piece that you saw this year in 2020? Um, generally, it is the museum, these big crystals. Literally, I'm not, I'm not lying. They're, they're the size of a small vehicle or oh, wow. the size of a person. Mm -hmm. You know, there are these, you know, double terminated clear quartz with rue tile that are just, you know, it, it, it's just, there almost aren't even words. I mean, I'm stuttering, I'm stammering, but it's, it really is that amazing that mm -hmm. they're, you mm -hmm. know, but they're, they're these larger than life crystals that mm -hmm. are perfectly terminated. There's been no polishing. They've just been, you know, birthed from the earth really. Mm -hmm. And they have them in, you know, they move them there in these crates and they have them on their display stands. And, and, and it's not just one or two, you know, there'll be several of these out there and they've all got different energy. They've all got, you know, some are huge labradorite spheres. Some are, you know, like I said, the double terminated like citrine or smoky citrines with rutile in them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just, just amazing, amazing. Right. I think a lot of the really jaw dropping pieces that we see on Instagram and, and online actually do come from this gym show. Right. Yeah. It's, they're there every year, almost in the same spot. And, you know, it, it's, it's nice that you know where you can go back and visit them every year. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So what was your personal favorite piece that you purchased for yourself, not for sale in 2020? It was actually, my husband saw it. Hmm. And and I had been telling him, I'm thinking I'm ready for a amethyst cathedral. Cause I love, that's another one of my big yes. favorites, amethyst. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have a healing room now. And I said, I really think I'd love one for my healing room. And mm -hmm. he says, well, you know, we, we just got to see, we just, you know, mm -hmm. let's, let's focus on what we know we want to get. And the extra stuff we'll just have to see. Well, he came upon this gorgeous piece of an amethyst geode that is not your typical cathedral dome shape. It's more shaped a little bit like a cornucopia because it goes in kind of deep. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's, you know, you're probably looking at a picture of it right now. Mm -hmm. And it's my baby. I never thought I'd have a piece like that. And I am over the moon that it got to come home with us. It weighs about 50 pounds. <laughs> wow. Well, the energy coming off of it is just astounding. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's a healer. It really is. It's seen some things. <laughs> it knows some stuff. Let's recap. The show is yearly in Tucson, Arizona in the United States from January to February. The end of January usually starts the last week of January through um, the second week of February. It's open to the public and you don't have to have a business or a vendor's license or a sales tax card to attend. Anyone can attend. Most of the shows are free as well, correct? Correct. There are vendors from all over the world buying some of the best prices at these shows. Sylvia has some of these gems in her store too, Elemental Healing, and I have included the link in the, in the description box below. So if you wanna know more, you wanna talk to her about crystals, or you wanna see some more of these beauties that we've seen today, definitely go visit her store. Thank you, Sarah. I really appreciate you inviting me. I am never gonna turn down an opportunity to talk about crystals. Oh, definitely, definitely. I enjoyed it so much too. There, um, there are a lot of other things that I think that we probably want to talk about with crystals. So would you be open to coming back? I would love to. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your adventure with us. Until next time. Thank you. Okay. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.